What is up y'all? It is me, Joelle, and today I have a bit of a different video. I haven't done a video like this in so long, so I'm really excited to just talk about something that I've been asked about a bunch and that I've wanted to talk about for a long time, and that is confidence. And it's funny because I wanted to film this for such a long time, but I didn't because, catch my irony, I wasn't confident enough in my own understanding of confidence to film it. But now I realize that my understanding of confidence and my journey with confidence is ever evolving and continuing so I'm never really going to be at a place where I'm like, yeah, I get confidence. So I figure I should just make this video now because people have asked for it like for the past few years just to talk about my experience with confidence and gaining it and why it's important and all of that. And for those of you guys who are new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below just to join the J team where no one is bench warmer. And yeah, I love you all. Okay, anyway, anyway. In other fun news really quick, I am now using a ring light, which is so exciting. I recently got this. So you can see little ring reflections in my eyes every now and then. That's it. Sometimes that bothers people, but I don't know. I don't really have a problem with it. I'm always trying to improve the quality of my videos. So hopefully this will just give better lighting and make it more, you know, easy to see my face and all the imperfections on it. But anyway, so I have some notes, some notes based off of things that I want to talk about in terms of confidence and whatnot. And I guess I'll just start off by talking about why it's important to be confident and what is it? To me, being confident is just really understanding your value as an individual and your worth and why you are worth something and why you can love yourself and why other people should love you. And I think that's really important because when we love ourselves, that is what allows us to love other people. And as a Christian, fun fact for anyone who didn't know that, I, I am Christian. I'm taking a year after ministry school, you can check out my vlogs if you want. I personally feel that a large part of humans, humanity, and all that is to be able to form relationships with one another. And I don't think you can do that in a productive way if you don't love someone. And I don't think you can love someone unless you love yourself, unless you let other people love you. And a big part of relationship building and why there are, trouble, there are troubles in relationships is due to things like comparison and feeling unworthy and trying to shut people out because you don't feel comfortable with them knowing you because you're like, well, if they know me, they're going to hate me. Because we know all this dirt about ourselves and we don't like it and we are afraid if people learn about that, they're going to be like, ew, they're bad. I don't want to get to know them. And I think a really good way to just sort of evaluate where we're at with confidence is just be able to look at like, what gives me joy? Like, what makes me feel good? What makes me feel happy? Is it my circumstances and how well I'm doing in this one particular area or how well people are treating me? Or is it just the inherent knowledge that you're a good person, that you are God's creation, God made you beautiful, that you are talented, smart, unique, all of those things, and that you can just be satisfied knowing that you're a child of God and that you are part of this beautiful earth that has something to contribute to other people and that you are worth something regardless of you know other people's approval or how much money you have or the job that you have, that you as a human with life are beneficial to this planet. And I think it's really interesting to learn about confidence because I really think that this whole epidemic we have of really insecure people is taught. Let's be real, when you're a little kid, you don't grow up thinking like, yeah, when I grow up, I don't know, I probably won't be smart or talented enough to do anything that I really want to do. So I guess I'll be like a janitor somewhere because people always need people to clean up after them. But you're like, no, I'm going to be a princess. I'm going to be a firefighter. I'm going to be an astronaut. I'm going to have my own family and they're going to be beautiful and amazing. And we have all these like dreams for ourselves. And then slowly, little by little, you're like, oh, I guess I'm not good enough for that. Or I guess I don't deserve that. Or that's impossible. I could probably never do that on my own. And then we just start be listening to all these lies people tell us and we let the narratives told by other people be stronger than what our own sense of identity and self-worth becomes. And people are always arguing like, well, I'm not being pessimistic, I'm just being realistic, which is something that I've told myself many times and then now realize that it's probably not true because cynicism is not synonymous with realism. Realism is knowing the truth about who you are and your value. Cynicism is distorting that in the most negative way possible so that you don't get your feelings hurt or you're not let down or whatever. And I really don't think that if you're not cynical, you're ignorant. I think it's really just the purity we have of not letting the junk of other people's lives influence and bring us down because I really do think that when people have a stronger understanding of themselves and their own capabilities, they will push themselves and bring themselves to a higher potential because they believe that it was possible. We're never going to go for something that we 
don't think is possible. Uh, it's like in all of those movies, like the most beautiful part of so many like heroic stories is when someone realizes who they are. For example, um, Moana, everyone freaking loves that movie and what's the whole like punchline of how she succeeds is that she's like, who am I? And then she just sings about how she's herself and that she's this princess who is capable of doing something, that she has a call and she's fulfilling that call without the evidence of her ability to achieve it, you know? Okay, and obviously if people would be like, you're so stupid saying that everyone should follow like the narratives of this Disney movie, but in a real life application, I think it's really like, I feel really compelled, I feel really passionate about this and I want to achieve it. Oh, but there's too many obstacles in the way. So I guess I'm just gonna like go this complete opposite direction and never even really push myself to achieve what it is that I want to do because I just can't. And then we disqualify ourselves from our dreams, you know, and that is so sad. And I think also a cool thing about Moana's story is that, huh, Christian allegory here. What she really remembers is that she's a princess. She remembers her responsibility to her island because of her birthright and that she has the call as the daughter of the chief. And uh, when we look at it as Christians, we are the daughters and sons of the king of the universe. So if Moana has this call that she can fulfill and save her island, then why could we not go and fulfill our dreams of pursuing whatever it is that God's placed in our hearts to be passionate about and to pursue um, to bring people closer to him? I think some of the places that I see the most insecurity in as of late uh, will forever be body image, especially girls like my age. Boys too, but girls I think in particular who are taught that their value is like largely derived from their physical appearance, where guys it's like, duh, as long as you have a good personality or make a lot of money or whatever. But for girls, historically, it's like, no, you gotta marry a good husband and to that you have to be attractive, which is a terrible narrative. And like, A, we're just, we're just gonna reject that. But B, a lot of that really just comes from comparison. We don't have like a framework for like innate beauty. We only know how to be like, well, I guess I'm more attractive or skinnier or whatever than that person so that makes me feel better about ourselves and since when could we only feel good about ourselves by making other people feel worse about themselves you know i think that's just such like a negative sad sad cycle and i think comparison is like the root of all insecurity because we feel insufficient compared to someone else that we see again people may say like well that's just the value system of our world like if someone thinks you're ugly then you're ugly if someone is making a ton more money than you then technically yeah by comparison you are poor or whatever and i just don't think we necessarily have to subscribe to those ideas of success beauty and whatever just because that's what the world around us is telling us because when we look at the people in the world around us that are living with those standards what do they have that's so desirable like what what is it about their lives that makes their value systems more authoritative than at least for me personally what god tells me about who i am okay so just deriving from my personal experience a few tips for learning to gain confidence first one would be is to understand that like the image that everyone presents is not necessarily the truth and that people on social media or whatever they're going to portray the best lives that they think everyone else wants to see and they want people to think about them obviously they're not gonna post like yeah i'm super depressed right now like my boyfriend has like not been treating me well and I don't know what's going on. My parents have been fighting a lot, like blah, blah, blah. Like, no, no one's gonna say that about themselves because they want everyone to believe that they have this amazing, beautiful life and that they're attractive and everything's going well. But we shouldn't compare our like blooper outtake reel to what they're putting up as the final cut. Another thing is to really just consider where do I get my value? And if it is a circumstantial thing, I really ask you to just reconsider like, okay, well, what do I believe about who I am as a human? Like what qualities do I love about myself? And then go through those and list them. Literally just list the things that you like about yourself so that other people like about you. And I assure you that there are going to be positive qualities. Whenever we don't think that there are positive qualities, it's because we're ignoring them or making excuses for why that's not true. But if you, when we stop making excuses, there are always redeeming qualities about ourselves. And again, from the godly perspective, sorry, I'm Christian, I'm just gonna throw this in. When we, refuse to see the beauty in God's creation in who we are, we are insulting the creator, God, who made you along with all the beautiful vistas, waterfalls, oceans, dolphins. So to say that we aren't beautiful in some sort of way, God don't like that. And it's not true because he made all the creation and it was good. Literally, it was good. That's a sentence in the Bible. So just take that and really think about 
why God made you the way he did because I assure you he had a purpose and intention for it. Another big thing that I've learned from my experience of becoming confident is understanding like that, that I was made the way I am for a reason and that there are benefits along with the struggles of being made the way I am. A large part of that for me has been my struggle with being Asian. Just being an Asian American girl. There are a lot of stereotypes, there can be a lot of racism. I admit there have been moments where I'm just like, I have to compensate for the fact that I'm Asian so I have to do this, 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 and this so people don't think that I'm just another quiet Asian girl and that you know, I can have a shot at being successful in life. I really had to make effort to just think about why I appreciate my culture and why I love the fact that I have such a rich culture that I can identify with other people with and just appreciate and use that as something that I really value because I really strongly identify with other Asian girls who share these same struggles and that creates a really awesome sense of community and I can be so proud of just the struggles that my ancestors went through and the beautiful culture that exists in China and Korea and the delicious food that comes out of it and all the stuff like that. So racial identity I think can create a lot of confidence issues but once we get that like there is no reason for other people to think worse or better of us because of the color of our skin because literally they just don't understand the beauty in the difference and that if someone thinks that they're better than me just because of the color of their skin then they have problems because they fail to construct value for themselves so that it requires them to just put me down because I look different from them. We can't let that define who we are or change our perspectives of ourselves. And I think segueing from that, lastly what I think is the most helpful for just being confident in relationship and whatnot is to always think about what I'm able to contribute to other people rather than what I'm gaining from them and to remember that I do have stuff to contribute that there is no one else on this planet like me with my personality, with my history, and that because of that, I can love other people. And I love to be able to demonstrate love to other people because it is honestly a large part of what gives me fulfillment, is that when I can express God's love to others, that like that gives me value and that I can bring value into other people's lives because I can be an example of love for them and I can make them feel good about themselves and I can show them bits and pieces of the truth of who they are by loving them. And to me, that is a sign of true confidence when regardless of the circumstances that we remember that it is our job and our pride to show love to other people because we were first loved by God and can love ourselves as well. So with that, I know this was like long and rambling and it's gonna be very confusing to edit, but I hope you appreciated just my breakdown of confidence, where it comes from and how I have sort of continued on this ever-evolving journey of understanding who I am and why I can be confident about who I am and how God made me and I can just embrace that and be happy and enjoy life. So if you guys have any questions or anything about anything I said or just want to develop further conversation, leave it in the comments below because I love it when there's conversation down there. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this sort of like talking video where I just kind of ramble about a topic that I care about, but it's something that I think is really important. I wish that people talked about more. Again, if you have not subscribed yet, I hope you enjoyed and are down to subscribe and that button below again. And if you'd like to see more updates from me, I make videos every week and I also live stream regularly and I post about what I'm gonna live stream on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and all those are linked down below. I'll put Instagram and Twitter right here just because I do post Insta stories, so that's just a fun way to keep updating you guys about what I'm doing and same with Twitter and yeah. I think that's it. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you so much and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. Of a preacher from the back room Calling my name and I follow just to find you I trace the fake to a broken down television And put on the weather And I'm dreaming